What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about this, the new Supergirl suit for the next season of Supergirl, season 5. Very excited about this, we're going to talk about this in detail, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. I know a lot of people have already done videos about it, but people are hitting me up, they're like, hey, you said you are going to do a Supergirl video, so I'm doing a Supergirl video, there we have it. Uh, but first thing I want to talk about before we get into that, this can be very brief. A lot of people were wondering, because I announced that I was going to Comic-Con um, to hang out with Paigey and Ben and, and the other guys and stuff, and I did not go. So why did I not go? What's the drama? What's the tea behind that? Uh, well, here's my badge. <laughs> it's my press badge for a San Diego Comic-Con. I received it, I guess, about three or four weeks ago. <clears throat> and I didn't open up the box. I have the box with like the pins and the buttons in it and everything. I didn't open it up because I didn't think I would have to. Um, I had plans to fly there and stay with a friend and try to save some money that way. And uh, I noticed on the badge when I finally did open it about a week and a half before Comic-Con that the name on the badge is incorrect. A lot of people don't know my last name, but it is not Johnston, okay? It is not Eric Johnston. Uh, so I contacted them and I said, hey, by the way, um, you know, what's the deal here? What do I have to do to fix this? Because I've been told that when I go to check in, I'd have to have an ID that matches the info in the system. And this is not my name. So anyway, they told me that, uh, <clears throat> I would, in fact, that would be the case that I would have to do that. And so I went through a process of trying to get that done before San Diego Comic-Con. Needless to say, I could not get it done in time. They could not, the verification process that they needed for me could not be achieved and uh, yeah, so I wasn't able to go. That along with other like bumps in the road, it just, it became a hassle. Anyway, I've got this cool badge with the press thing on it and I got a button and all that stuff and anything. So yeah, it sucked. I wanted to go, but you know, what can you do? I'll try again next year. <laughs> anyway, uh, also you guys, what has been going on with me? Why are there no videos on my channel? Did you stop reviewing stuff, Eric? What is happening? What is going on? Uh, no, it's just the summertime. I got a lot of stuff happening. There wasn't a lot of news for me to talk about. Uh, San Diego Comic-Con had a bunch of stuff. I do have videos that I'm working on right now, along with this one, as well as some stuff on Crisis, some stuff on The Flash, and an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. video that I'm also working on today. So hopefully things will be back in normal swing um, very soon. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. Anyway, Supergirl suit. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Season 5 suit. I'm actually surprised that this suit was not in the article with all the other costumes, with the new Flash suit, with the new Arrow suit. I'm really surprised that they did not do it. I don't really know the reason why. I've read a few rumors and things, you know, floating around on the internet on why they didn't actually release the suit in time for that article. I don't know how much of it's true, so I'm not gonna, like, spout it out here because I don't wanna give any false information. I really just wanna do what I do, basically, whenever they release these new images. You guys know how I do. I just go through and talk about what I think about it, if I like it, if I don't like it, what I would have changed, what I wouldn't have changed. And um, I have to say, this suit, I like it. I like it a lot. This is really, I mean, like, this reminds me a lot of the Injustice game suit for Supergirl, which is, um, I like that design. Some of them were, some of the, like, customizations for that were over-designed. But I think overall, the core of that costume, the one from Injustice, I wish I would have pulled up a picture of it, but, you know, whatever. The the core of it is basically, like, this look. Like, this this patchwork with the embellishments on it, the, the treatments on the shoulder and everything. Uh, let's pull up the original, I know we've all seen it before, but let's pull up the original uh, Supergirl suit here and just have them side by side while I talk about them for a moment. So I ha I've said before that the original suit from Supergirl, the, the skirt with the boots and, uh, you know, the way the cut and everything, the belt, the cape, all of it is very much, I think, one of, like, I think it's one of the best translated superhero costumes that we had on TV in terms of like the classic look with a modern take on it. I think it was very successful and I think that's why they kept it for so long. I mean, we had this suit pretty much for four seasons other than like, you know, a couple of variations with the bad guy versions of Supergirl. We had the one with the kryptonite suit, but this has been her mainstay suit for her time on the show. And there's nothing really wrong with it. I, and I said that before when I talked about updating it, there's really nothing wrong with this classic design and I think it's one of those designs that we're going to go back and look at you know after these shows are long gone and go that was really good that was a good design I think my biggest nitpick with it looking at it now would probably be the fact that there's no white under the s I don't know if that was because they tested it with a white one and it just didn't look right or maybe it was just a choice in making it more modern I, I don't really know the reason why but that would probably be my biggest nitpick with this 
uh, Supergirl suit from seasons one through four. Now, jumping ahead over here to the one on your your right uh, would be the uh, season five Supergirl suit, and it looks like a good combination of you know all the other suits we've seen or the variations of the Supergirl suits. Uh, first and foremost, the big thing I think that's, that everybody's going to be talking about is the fact that it does have pants. It is a full pants uh, suit where there's no skirt at all. And I don't know if Melissa maybe thought that was a good idea after having a couple of them that were made that way for her alt versions, or if this is something that they just decided to do because they also enjoyed the way it looked as much as we did on screen. So um, the belt is a much more embellished version of the one we had previously. It's got the same uh, curvature and the same basic design with a little bit more detailing, which I really like. Actually, let's go ahead and blow up this picture of uh, Supergirl here so we can look at each individual piece um, in much more detail. We're going to start at the top. Let's start at the top, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do that. Let me go ahead and blow this up a little bit more. Uh, professional, professional. Okay, so... First of all, new hairstyle. I think we saw that in some of the promo stuff. I like the new cut. But here's the thing. Kara and Supergirl having both <laughs> the same new style haircut. I mean, come on. Come on, you guys. Uh, so the cape there. You notice the shoulder treatment. If that looks familiar to you, it's because that is the same design they use on Tyler Hecklin's Superman costume. And I think from a production standpoint, it's probably a lot easier to do that because there are attachments that connect to a physical cape. And so when they CGI the cape, they don't have to CGI the ones, the part of it on the shoulders. They can literally just do the cape in the back. The VFX team have a much easier time with that. So not really surprised that they went with that here with Supergirl. But this was probably, I, I think, thinking back now, I think this was one of the things that I didn't really care for on the Tyler Hecklin suit. I, I just didn't think it looked particularly flattering. I don't really mind it here on Supergirl. I think it looks okay in this costume and the wider neck. Um, I don't know about that thing in the center, that little, it almost looks like a pendant or something there or a brooch or something there in the middle of the chest. I don't know why they felt they needed to do that. I probably would have been more happy with like a, uh, like a fabric choice, maybe a thicker fabric there or something along those lines. I don't really know. It's hard to tell in this shot. And I know we've seen some stuff in the trailer, but uh, I'll have to see it a little bit more before I decide how much I actually like it. We still have the, the same S without the uh, white in the background. So, you know, it is what it is. I would prefer the white background. I guess they don't like it for whatever reason. Uh, so one thing I do notice is this reminds me a lot of the way they made the new Flash costume. And many of us had speculated that moving forward, we'd see a lot of these costumes um, in the Arrowverse follow that same style because it's a lot more comfortable. It's easier to get in, in and out of. And so we're seeing that here. And you can tell with the way it's stitched in and the different uh, pieces of fabric and the panels in it, that it actually looks like they tried to make it so it was padded so we could get the right shape and look for Supergirl um, on screen with this suit on. So we have that. The shoulder treatments are kind of cool with the, uh, it looks like a little um, bevel going down over the actual tops of the shoulders, which is kind of nice. Uh, the arms are basically the same design with the red stripe down it. Um, it's just made out of different materials, so not much to see there. We'll go down to the pants. This is probably like the, the best part of the suit to me because I think it just makes it way more modern. I think giving her a full body suit just works for this character, and I'm so happy they went with this instead of like an updated version with like a, a faux skirt or something around it. You know, it would look very cheerleader if they did that, and I think by avoiding that with, this, with these uh, pants, I think... It's going to make the suit just pop a bit more. I love the way the panels come down in the side and that stitching in the center of the leg um, does add a little bit of depth and dimension to her. It's going to look really good on camera when she turns because you're going to see that depth and that dimension from that fabric, which I think is really neat. Uh, the boots are basically the same boots. I don't know if they're slightly different. It's the same cut, and I think the cape is the same length, so not much change there. But overall, I really enjoy the way this suit looks. I think it's a fantastic suit. Um, I think it's actually going to be one of those things where we're going to be really excited about seeing it on screen. I know I'm going to be excited about seeing it on screen uh, throughout the season. And Supergirl needed an update to her look. Let's be honest. She'd had the same suit for several seasons now. She's had this, I think she wore her superhero suit a lot longer than most of our other characters did. Every character that I know on the Arrowverse that we've had has had some sort of change or alternate version of their suit. Uh, within like the second or third season. Supergirl went four seasons with basically the same costume. So I think this is a really cool upgrade and update to the suit. 
So I'm happy with it. This is one of the times where I have very little to complain about. I, I, if I had to say there was anything that really bugged me, it would be the piece in the center there. And that's pretty much it. I think everything else on it, to me, looks really good. And I cannot wait for a full season in this awesome costume. But that's my thoughts on it. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Are you happy with this upgrade to Supergirl? Uh, what do you think about ditching that classic costume with the skirt and everything and moving into a more modern full body suit here like we saw with Overgirl and with Red Daughter? Um, I love it. I love it. I think it's, you know, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's very close to being like a perfect upgrade for her. So I'm, I'm excited to see what we're going to do with Supergirl this season. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about in this video. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the Supergirl costume. If you hadn't seen it, what do you think about it? If you have seen it and you've thought about it, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, I know you guys usually have a lot of opinions like I do. So go ahead and go crazy in the comment section. If you're brand new to the Ericverse, please subscribe to my channel to get more content. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this suit, give me a thumbs up for that. Uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, joining me. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to get out of here. I got some stuff to do and uh, yeah, so that's it. Catch you guys in the next video.